Layering your drums with polyrhythms and shadow layers are the two most effective ways to add energy to your drums and above all, make them sound unique. The point of these layers is that they're hidden behind the main elements of your music and they help enhance the main elements with your own taste and color. So I'm going to show you the two effective layering strategies in this video that will help you transform your drums from here on out. We have a couple examples to cover. Let's go ahead and get into it. Here's a house beat in desperate need of some layers. It just sounds bland and two-dimensional and nothing about this beat sets it apart from any other house beat out there. So let's add some ear candy to it and watch the magic happen. The first concept I'm going to show you is adding polyrhythms to your drum loops. Polyrhythms are just rhythms that move with the main rhythm. So the first polyrhythm I'm going to add is with the tom. So I'm going to hop into my moon weight pack and grab a tom real quick. I like this one because it doesn't have a lot of tone to it. So there's two places that this tom could work, and that could be on the quarter beat in between each kick or the half beat in between each kick. I'm going to put the first one on the quarter beat, and then maybe I could put one right here. And I can grab those and just disperse it throughout my rhythm. We get the sound. Try Moonwake for free below. Something worth trying with these is adding echo to them. I'm actually going to get rid of that one because I like the echo on every first tom. And that little rhythm hidden behind the main rhythm sounds quite nice. So once I get a low frequency rhythm like that tom, I try to complement it with a high frequency rhythm. So I'm going to use a clap. We want something a little bit more mellow that's going to help complement the beat, not take it over. This guy. And for this guy, I'm going to take it dotted here and then put the other three halfway in between each beat. So in every bar, we have one dotted rhythm, a half, a half, and a half. and we'll disperse these over our loop. If we add some echo to it, echo plugins help add different rhythms that I didn't already think of. So that's with the echo, here's without the echo. And another thing we can do to this clap is we can add a panning tool or an LFO tool to it to make it fly from ear to ear. I'm gonna use Shaper Box 2 and it's panning module. And we just set this to 100% and make sure that the LFO swings into each ear and then we'll get this result. Notice how nothing we add is taking over the function of the main drum loop. They're simply just enhancing it, and that's what we're going for. So now that we're done adding polyrhythms, it's time to add some shadow layers. And these are really, really cool. This is my favorite part about making drums. For these sounds, I like getting really weird percussive sounds. And I pick certain drums to enhance with those percussive sounds. That's the one. Something that you would never think to add, try adding it to your drums. Like that's, that's what this sound says to me. So I'm gonna take this weird glitchy reverse sound. And I'm just gonna layer it on top of every other clap. The sound sounds like this layered on top of my clap. So if I play it now, I heard that done in a Billie Eilish song and I was like mind blown. So I'm gonna put this on every other clap throughout the loop. And then I wanna find a sound that I can enhance every clap with. Cause I don't wanna use normal reverb on the clap. Otherwise I just sound like everyone else. So I'm gonna grab another weird perk sound. Like this, 
these sounds are so cool because you can stand these alone and use them in like the verse without the beat too. So if we take this and we just layer it on every other clap and we load up a reverb plugin on it, your reverb plugin of choice doesn't have to be a special one, we get this sound. And if we play it with the whole loop. Now here's our loop without any of the ear candy layers. Here it is with the ear candy layers. That is magic. That glitchy sound on your claps will improve your music production game by at least 20% guaranteed. 20% gang, where are you guys at? These drums are finally sounding like me. Time to move on to the next example. For this next piece of music, we got a chill electronic future bass type of thing. Went from the front to the back of your mind. Is it so easy leaving me behind? Thought maybe you were gonna decide. That's a vocal from the Eternal Pack. Here is our skimp drum beat. Verse beats are my all-time favorite drum rhythms to just make come alive with some ear candy shadow layers. Illenium, Chainsmokers, Billie Eilish, they all do this and it just sounds so good. The first thing I'm going to work on is adding movement behind this snare. I found these two weird percussive sounds on the internet. One sounds like that and the other sounds like this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this smaller one and put it on every first snare and take this heavy one and put it on every other snare. Have to EQ that one though because it's got a lot of deep deepness in it. And I don't want that to take away from the bass. So if we take these now and just repeat this pattern for the duration of our loop, we're going to sound pretty good. That alone, that was, that was amazing. That alone should inspire you to go do that to every snare you've ever laid in a song right now. In verse drums, you can hide the weirdest polyrhythms behind those drums and it just makes you sound so good. So I found this weird perk sound here. I'm gonna use this to do some dotted polyrhythm behind the snare. So I'm gonna go three and we'll go three on every other snare. And then my all time favorite thing to do is find a weird percussive loop and hide it behind the rhythm. What this does is it will enhance certain drums for us, but we don't even know what drums it's gonna enhance because we're just gonna find a weird loop and put it behind the rhythm. I'm gonna hop into Moonwake again because I know there's some weird ones in there. Let's go to Perk, Loops. Yes, that one's it. So I'm gonna take this, stretch, so that it's twice the size it originally was. That just completed everything. Hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I did. If you'd like to learn more about every element of music production, come join me in my EDM bootcamp. My EDM bootcamp course is not just a course that teaches you every element of music production, but it's also a back-end mastermind group where you can send me as many of your songs as you would like for my personal feedback, as well as network with thousands of other students. If that sounds like something you're interested in, like I said, there's a link at the top of the description below and stay tuned for next video.